there will be times an artist will say in their life, let's abandon excess. We don't want to do excess anymore. Let's abandon excess completely. It, it could happen for X reason, Y, C. To be honest, I don't really care. But see how they abandon excess is actually a pretty good question to ask because regulation is something I also struggle a lot with. This is Octahedron by the Mars Volta. Why are we reviewing Octahedron if it's such a bad album? Well, I feel it's as important to review the failures of, as it is to review the successes. There is actually a lot to learn in failure, you know? What do we do when we don't want to fall too into excess? This guy said, well, we have done ballads before, so let's just make a bunch of them and call it a day. We could go track by track, but there isn't really too much to say. Uh, since we've been growing, this is kind of classy. It's kind of classy. It has some grandeur to it. Sometimes I find it's hard for me to fit myself into the song. But I like it. I like it. I feel that if the song had developed just a tiny little bit more, I would have connected to it more. But hey, we said no excess, no excess. We're keeping things simple this time. The flow I actually like a lot more. It has a constant tension line underneath, which makes feel the track feel like this tight grip over you. The song never goes overboard, but the flow is constant and it feels ominous. Halo is also a dramatic track. It has a very cool build up, but I don't know, the song just doesn't evolve. I have a feeling that, well, my brain, my brain has this issue that it can only go in extremes. If it's not in this one edge, it goes into this other edge. And I have the feeling that this album has a similar issue. It confuses the avoidment of excess as a stagnation, if that, if that makes sense. Yes. With Twilight as my guide, it sounds like a nocturnal, folky song, you know, to the wrong. But by the third time they play the chorus again, it just gets so bored. Copernicus, I don't even remember what Copernicus was about. I fucking hate Cotopaxi. I'm sorry, it just feels like a parody of a Mars Volta song. It's so pentatonic. Like, it tries to be the most tight Mars Volta song, most to the point Mars Volta song, reducing everything they do to the very core of their parts. So it's like waxing lacra, but bad. I, just, I still listen to the song and I just can't believe that this song was actually made by the band themselves and not a wannabe tribute band. And yeah, maybe this album will have gone that route for the rest of the songs. It will have been even more disastrous. So I say that what we got is actually a little bit better. There is actually a song that is not included on the album. It's actually from a bootleg, but people say that it's from Octahedron. People that say that it's from Bedlam, they're out of their fucking minds. A Whisper to Your Finch is actually pretty good. The repetition works in its favor because the song has this vindictive feeling to it. The face I heal is peeling off. It's so good, dude. It's so good. It feels that the more that you repeat it, the more obsessed you become. Finally, Lucy Farms is the true and ultimate success of this album. It's everything what this album could have been. Everything about it just works. A full build-up, just like the first track. The difference is that this song doesn't hold itself over. The rhythm never gets super mega fast or anything like that, but you can feel how it grows. There are even bits that remind me of Devil's Triangle of King Crimson. There is a lot of noise and there is martyrdom and apocalypse. This song is neat. This song is this, this song is this song is pretty freaking neat. If the whole album would have been like this, it, it would have been a masterpiece. What is my theory? Okay, for this for this record, this guy said, all right, this album, this album, we won't do an excess. We won't do an excess. But for the last track, we will exceed ourselves, but just in that little world, just in that little world, we will exceed ourselves and we will focus the excess to that world that exists there. And nothing else, and nothing else. Ah, they locked in. I have bootleg performances of this song and at least two occasions Cedric just takes the, the Smith song called 
That joke isn't funny anymore. I've seen this happen in other people's lives. Not a sobbing in mine. It's just so good! So good! Really? So good! So, what we did learn today about this album? I don't know. I feel like we could give thousands of complaints about a piece of art, but if it had a vivid world, a vivid core on its own, it would still be worth it. But there is no real core, no real vivid world to this record. Mm. The, sound effects and studio trickery feel like sound effects and studio trickery. It's really telling me the peak of a Mars Volta album. It's a reference to a song by the Smiths. Overall, it just makes me feel like I've wasted more time than the one I have gained. <laughs> I guess we didn't learn anything after all. I'll see this happen in other people's lives. No, not is happening mine. I'll see this happen. Yeah, I'm sorry. Compared to their previous four records, this album kind of sucks. But if anything, this is at least better than Nocturnicate. Goodbye.